Even before its historic launch, the James Webb Space Telescope had captured the world's attention. Before its Christmas Day launch, Elon Musk shared something about the giant telescope, replying to a BBC Twitter post that highlighted the JWST scientists' intent to show how the cosmos became filled with light. Elon replied, this is a big deal. There are actually a couple of reasons why JWST is as big a deal as Elon says it is. First, the telescope is actually a collaboration of three space agencies, NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The three agencies have been developing JWST for a mind-blowing 30 years. They've also poured in nearly $10 billion of capital to bring Webb into existence. Another reason why JWST is such a big deal is because of the path it will be traveling. Built to detect even the faintest of information-carrying infrared light, the telescope will peer back in time, nearly 13 billion years ago, when the first stars supposedly emerged. According to John Mather, a senior project scientist on JWST, the telescope has been built in such a way that its results will be like a time machine, through which scientists will revisit the early days of our universe and learn just how it became filled with light. It is known that before the Big Bang, the only cosmic entity that our universe had was darkness. And this darkness was eliminated when the first stars formed, far, far away from Earth. JWST will hunt for the lights that emerged from the first stars billions of years ago. After it points its 21-foot gold-plated mirrors toward a tiny space in the sky, JWST's launch was met with near-unanimous praise from the scientific community. Professor of Astrophysics and Space Science Martin Barstow tweeted, Woohoo! Launch successful. Many more nail biting moments to go yet, but JWST is on its way. NASA's administrator, Bill Nelson, said, This is a great day, not only for America, Europe, and our Canadian partners, but it's a great day for planet Earth. For over three decades, we've produced this telescope that is going to take us back in time, back to the very beginnings of the universe. We are going to discover incredible things that we never imagined. The UK's science minister, George Freeman, said, Today is a monumental milestone for international and UK space science. The Webb Space Telescope will allow us to go further and deeper to explore and discover our planetary universe. The project draws heavily on the world-class expertise of top UK scientists and engineers who were able to deliver vital pieces of this complex and powerful telescope. Being at the heart of this international project showcases the innovative talent of the UK's world-leading scientists and engineers and emphasizes our position as a global science powerhouse. Speaking of British scientists, Professor Brian Cox, the superstar physicist, commented before the launch saying, Good luck at NASA Webb. Certainly one of the most important scientific launches in history. It will be a wonderful Christmas present if all goes to plan, as I'm sure it will. But I know that even the most rational amongst us will have their fingers secretly crossed. JWST's predecessor is the Hubble Space Telescope, which was launched into orbit in 1990. For over 30 years, Hubble has been taking photographs of aspects of our universe that are billions of light years away. Brian Cox shed some light on the Hubble Space Telescope's achievements over the years in his BBC series Universe, where everything begins and ends. Light travels relatively slowly on a universal scale only 186,000 miles a second. It takes light eight minutes to journey from the sun to Earth. It takes four years for light to journey from the next nearest star, meaning we see that star as it was four years in the past. So, the further out into the universe we go, the further back in time we can look. According to Brian Cox, we can look way out into the universe through the Hubble telescope and are able to look back towards the beginning of time. Professor Cox noted, in the quest to find the origin of the universe, we need a time machine, a telescope so powerful that it can peer out so far into the universe that it can capture the most ancient light and carry us back towards the dawn of time. Cox noted that NASA has successfully achieved this time-traveling mission and said, the Hubble Space Telescope has taken us on an odyssey through the universe, revealing its gods and monsters. Our universe is a place of beauty and terror. Hubble has shown us visions of sublime creation and images of awesome destruction, illuminating our journey backward in time towards the dawn. Between 2004 and 2005, the Hubble Space Telescope captured its sharpest views yet of the Orion Nebula, a stellar nursery containing clouds of gas nurturing newborn stars in the Milky Way. 
Its image was brought to us by light that left the nebula 1300 years ago. The same can be said about the pillars of creation within the Eagle Nebula, towering, delicate structures that are light years tall, whose light has taken 7,000 years to reach us. The Andromeda Galaxy, a glittering island of a trillion suns, has been brought to us by light from 2.5 million years ago, thanks again to Hubble a cosmic rose made up of two interacting galaxies distorted by their mutual gravitational pull was captured in August of this year, whose light took 300 million years to reach us. Hubble's fantastic voyage has taken us even further out into the uncharted ocean of space, glimpsing countless ancient and faraway galaxies, some of whose images have taken billions of years to reach Earth, lighting the way to the primordial past. But as impressive as Hubble was, it approached its farthest shore. The outermost limit it was able to achieve is a galaxy near the dawn of time, one that came cosmological moments after the Big Bang. Known as GN-Z11, its image has taken a jaw-dropping 13.4 billion years to reach Earth. As impressive as that sounds, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to plunge to even greater depths than the Hubble ever could. It will cover longer wavelengths of light and will have greatly improved sensitivity, which enables it to look further back in time to see the first galaxies that formed in the early universe. Similar to GNZ11, but in better detail, the JWST will also be able to peer inside dust clouds where stars and planetary systems are forming today. Currently, NASA has yet to observe the era of our universe's history when galaxies began to form, and so there is much to learn about how galaxies get supermassive black holes at their centers. We also don't know whether the black holes cause the galaxies to form or vice versa. This is probably why so many scientists are regarding the launch of JWST as the next step in our understanding of space, and as something that will enable us to better understand ourselves and the world around us. That doesn't apply to all scientists, and at least one well-known name in the community is wary of what JWST could bring. In a recent interview with The Guardian, world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku, one of the scientists responsible for string theory, expressed his concerns about extraterrestrial life and how it ties into JWST's mission. Kaku said, Soon, we'll have the Webb telescope up in orbit, and we'll have thousands of planets to look at. And that's why I think the chances are quite high that we may make contact with an alien civilization. There are some colleagues of mine who believe that we should reach out to them. I think that's a terrible idea. We all know what happened to Montezuma when he met Cortez in Mexico so many hundreds of years ago. Now, personally, I think that aliens out there would be friendly, but we can't gamble on that. So I think we will make contact, but we should do it very carefully. It was quite interesting for Kaku to bring up Montezuma and Cortez in the context of first contact. As legend has it, Montezuma II accidentally gave up the entire Aztec Empire to Cortez, a Spanish conquistador, over a language misunderstanding. According to historians, Montezuma II told Cortez that he'd been keeping the Aztec throne warm for him, but he meant it in a bragging, sarcastic way. Cortez apparently didn't get the tone, and the rest is history. Kaku believes that maybe we would send alien life forms a message like, we come in peace, when we discover them. And the aliens could interpret it to mean, come rule us. It's a stretch, yes, but it has happened before, and it could surely happen again. If everything goes according to plan, JWST will reach its destination, calibrate its sensors, and be fully operational by May 2022. In his appearance on Neil deGrasse Tyson's show, Star Talk, Jim Green, a chief scientist at NASA, shared some interesting information on the mission's details. According to Green, NASA's sending the telescope to the second Lagrange point, or L2. This is a special place where the telescope can stay in line with the Earth while it orbits around the Sun 1.5 million kilometers away from home. The Hubble, on the other hand, hung right above our planet, a mere 547 kilometers away. Because of its incredible vantage point, the JWST will allow us to see and study the cosmos in new and exciting ways. Researchers can study the origins of the universe and, with any luck, find planets in our galaxy capable of supporting life. That would make Michio Kaku's remarks a lot more relatable, since we could, hypothetically, discover alien life with it as early as this year. But still, there is no guarantee of any life being out there. And even if there is, 
it could still take decades, centuries, or millennia for us to venture out far enough or develop the right technology to find it. For now, let's sit back and let the James Webb Space Telescope do its work. Until next time, welcome to the future.